it's all the occasions when we try to share with you. Today is again a special day for osteoporosis. Today is a national or world osteoporosis day. I think I should share something which can help you to change your lives from osteoporotic to normal bone strength. So all fellow netizens and my colleagues and friends, osteoporosis we all know is a disease of aging process. Usually hormones play a major role. And our lifestyles like smoking, alcohol, sedentary life, food habits, all they make responsible for osteoporosis in early ages which normally should not have taken place. It is just mobilization of calcium from bone. Bones become brittle, thin and any chance of accident, smallest stress can lead to fractures. Globally, if you see a population of around 8.9 million people suffer of fractures because of osteoporosis. In India itself, around 60 million women get into osteoporosis. That is the huge figures if you see. And this usually related to the hormone aging process that is estrogen reduction level at the, as the hormonal change takes place in the women. But nowadays we are seeing osteoporotic changes in the males also because of the lifestyle pattern. So we need to focus on both the lifestyle as well as hormonal pattern so as we can maintain the bone strength properly and come out of the bony complications or fractures as well as pains with the bones. In fact, there are many therapies which you conventionally follow. Those are the hormone replacement therapies are there, supplements are there, calcium, vitamin D, exercises, lifestyle modification, avoid ASCO, alcohol smoking, cigarette smoking, alcohols, and take healthy quality food with better nutritional values of vitamin D as well as better nutritional values of calcium and other proteins. Now, if in overall, if you see, in spite of this, still the consistent ratio of osteoporosis is very high in spite of taking this. So, we need to think a parallel view. What we can do for this? Yes, we need to have a parallel view. Thinking that this type of technologies always bring you back to any kind of therapies, back to the rigid medicine or cell-based technologies. True, because cell-based technologies has a power to regenerate. Here, we want to see which kind of cells can be used to enhance the endogenous osteogenic potential of our bones to generate the cells if we need to do bone formation. Yes, mesenchymal stem cells can play a major role. Whether you have your own endogenous stem cells, mesenchymal to improve the quality of life and so that the cells will improve and the bone density will improve. Otherwise, we can go for other sources of cells from the cord tissue, cord blood or even the bone marrow or adipose. These are the cells mesenchymal which we can differentiate from the lab, proliferate them and take as a therapy along with the vitamin D supplements and calcium supplements. Definitely the methodology by which you find the changes coming in the bone density is because they induce the endogenous bone forming cells, the progenitor cells <coughs> in the bone to differentiate into osteogenic potential and the bone density can be achieved. Usually I have seen in my experience around two to three times in a year along with the lifestyle changes around 42 million cells to 60 million cells in, in IV infusion along with these changes lifestyle your osteoporosis can be well treated. So my dear friends these are again innovative technologies which I am fancy about to tell you and make you aware yes all these conditions can be treated well. Let's today on osteoporotic day I would suggest all of you can go for your densometries, find out your bone densities and opt for the best therapies that sell this technology to improve your bone density so as you can avoid the complications of it. All the best, happy time and happy Diwali again to you. Thank you.